What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Amaral here. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out TJR's trading strategy as automated trading signals. And we're gonna see if we can find some valid trading signals for potentially automated trading systems in the future. So if you're a fan of TJR, or if you know of TJR, you know he trades similar to fair value gaps, uh, liquidity sweeps. He has a lot of terminology for his signals, but I'm gonna put those signals to the test. We're gonna see if we can find some alpha and find some good trading systems with his ideology. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving it a score out of 10 if the signal is what I think is valid. Uh, it's robust, it's good, and we can find some alpha with it. So what I've done is my, strat, uh, my software StratGen here allows you to import custom signals, indicators, etc., cetera, uh, for you to test. So we have over a thousand pre-built signals, very simple ones like gaps, uh, crossing above moving averages, uh, news reports, holidays, etc. cetera. But you can actually, uh, you can actually import in, uh, your own, okay? So what I've done is I've gone to ChatGPT and I give it a prompt saying, oh, let me scroll up here. Give it a prompt saying, uh, give me some strategy and C-sharp mini signals using TGR strategy ideology. And then I gave it a link, uh, some links to his strategies, a PDF and a, a Reddit post on his strategy. All right, then it gave me, I think 10 signals on some of his ideology for his signals. So inverse fal fair value gap plus order block re-entry, SMT divergence confirmed at session low, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So actually only give me, ChatGPT gave me five signals. So I wouldn't say these signals are exactly what he does. Obviously he's a discretionary trader, so his rules are disciplined enough, but he probably makes some changes every day. Maybe he doesn't, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but I don't think these signals are exactly how he trades. It's probably a combination of all five. For simplicity's sake, in this video, I'm just gonna be testing each signal individually and maybe they're they're a little bit off, but they're probably similar enough to his ide ideology that it would be considered you know, a valid signal that he might trade, okay? So then what I did is it gave me the, the, the signal code and then I imported them into StratGen. So you can see them all here, fair value gap fill, return to order block, break of structure down, up, liquidity sweep, prior low, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and all you have to do is, is paste that code in here. And then in our signals list, we can now test it as an entry or exit on multiple markets and instruments, okay? I'm just doing it as an entry for this video, but you could use them as exits as well. We're testing it on over 10, 10 markets. Uh, we're testing it on some currency futures, energy futures, as, uh, stock indice futures, metals. And then we're also doing some intraday data as well, some um, ES and NQ intraday intraday bars, 14, 40 minute bars, 600 minute bars. So we're testing on a variety of different markets to see, to get a feel if it's valid in other markets. I know TGR personally probably trades intraday NQES. I like to test it in more markets because you know, if I can find alpha in metals or energies, I wanna trade that, right? I want that diversification. So uh, I wanna test it on all. We're gonna do long and short. First, we'll start with long. Uh, I'll be testing from 2019 till today. Common question is, Jacob, how much data should you test on? And that's a hard question to answer. I mean, you could test on all the data. However, there's arguments that, you know, patterns back in 2010 or 2008 are not recurring right now. So you wanna, you know, one argument is heavily use more recent data as you're waiting. I've been just testing the last five years worth of data. That way I get multiple market regimes, but testing on more data doesn't hurt. I just personally think that patterns that we're seeing now are more recurring than they were, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago. So it's, it's a debated topic. And there's honestly no right answer. The, the right answer is what does your PL show, right? And I don't have the data to, to back that up yet. So that's gonna be testing on. Now, as far as the exits, uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm doing a $1,500 stop, a $1,500 stop loss that's based on one uh, E-mini futures contract and a $3,000 profit target based on one E-mini uh, futures contract. I don't know TJR's you know exit strategy. I know I'm pretty sure he uses a profit target and stop loss. I just don't know the ratio. So this is for simplicity's sake. However, after I do this initial back test for idea generation, then I'll be walk forwarding it with it uh, with varying profit targets and stop losses. So I usually leave it constant for the initial idea feasibility test, and then I'll walk forward different parameters uh, with the, the out of sample data, with more out of sample data, I should say. All right, so I'm gonna do the long side. This is gonna take a bit because it's testing over 15 different markets. I'm gonna go get some lunch then I will summarize the results and then we'll do the short side and see if we can uh, combine a long and short signal into one strategy. Then we'll give it a score out of 10 based on the signal validity. So we'll see you guys very soon. 
let's hit run. We got the eight signals, okay, and then it's gonna do that over the markets that we selected. I think it's roughly, it's, it's over 10. So uh, let's let this run and then we'll get back to you. All right, so we got our initial long signal finished. I found, uh, let me highlight, can I do that? Yeah, so I found, uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight signals that are valid. So I'm looking for an above return to drawdown of greater than two. So we found about eight that meet that. Uh, it looks like three rough rice futures, 14, 40 minute bars passed, uh, and four ES 11 minute uh, intraday bars passed as well. Oh, sorry, another, yeah, four, four rough rice futures passed all on 14, 40 minute bars, and then four 11 minute bars on S&P. The rest did not pass, so it was interesting to, to find no, I mean, we had some profitable NQ signals that just, the return of drawdowns are not above two, and that's my criteria. A lot of strategies did not find any signals, so, uh, you know, a lot of the currencies, energies, metals did not find signals. A couple of energy signals here, but none that passed. So that's great that we found, uh, you know, eight that sort of pass on the, this is the long side. And I'm going to do the short side of the same process. And then we're going to look at uh, combining the signals and doing a walk forward analysis thereafter. So uh, I generated the code, the Ninja Trader code, simply by, uh, you know, clicking this button here, select it Ninja Trader code, it generates a C sharp code, so I can import it into Ninja Trader, and then back test it, run it in sim or trade it live from there, and automatically generates the files on my on my desktop. So that's the long side. Uh, let's do the short side, and then I'll get back to you. All right, so the short signals did finish and we got no short signals that passed. We had two that were profitable, but their return to drawdowns were not great. They don't pass my criteria of being above a two return to drawdown. So nothing great and then a lot of zero trades and a lot of uh, negative signals. So the short side, nothing that we can really use from TJR. If we go back to the long side, the strategy that did pass, let's actually walk them forward too. So we had, uh, I believe it was wheat, yeah, wheat 1440. Let's try and walk that forward. So what that does is that test with more out of sample data. And actually I forgot one setting. So that were these, yep. So now in this walk forward, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try different profit targets and stop losses. So uh, initially we had a $3,000 profit target. I'm gonna try between 2,000 and 4,000 increment by 1,000. This is based on one futures contract. The stop loss was $1,500. I will try between, uh, let's do say 750 and uh, 2250 increment by 500. No, that doesn't add up. Uh, we'll do, I'll just do between 1,000, sorry, 1,000 and 2,000 increment by, by 500. So it'll try 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000, and then profit target between two and 4,000. All right, let's, uh, oops, let's rerun that. So now with this walk forward, we're testing new out of sample data, and we're also modifying our exit parameters. And we're gonna see if the strategy is robust. And I hope, my hope is that, you know, these strategies continue to do well and, uh, and make money. All right, so those finished, okay. Now let's hit walk forward and let that simulate. So we did about 2,400 back tests, 1,200 long, 1,200 short. And for you stats nerds out there, uh, if you wanted to know those details. And then uh, those completed within five minutes each. I think each, each run took about three minutes. So six minutes total to do 2,400 back tests. And now we're doing a walk forward on the uh, rough rice futures uh, to see if we can see some performance out of sample. So we'll let that run, I'll speed up the video and then we will do uh, uh, ES, which was the other pass.
All right, so the walk forward finished and not really great results. Uh, we get a negative walk forward if we chart the out of sample walk forward equity. And it was a negative, yeah, very, very negative uh, out of sample. So if I were to give this a score out of 10, honestly, the long signals did pass initially in my initial feasibility test. Out of sample, it did not pass. And then shorts, we found nothing. So all in all, obviously, you know, I could probably test some other exit types uh, outside of prof target and stop loss. You know, TJR uses prof target and stop loss. So I would say overall, I'd give it a score, probably four out of 10. The mainly, you know, with the long signals passing on that initial feasibility test, that's a great sign that you might have something. But, you know, everything else pretty much failing would keep it uh, a solid four. Uh, I would like to explore those long signals more, trying different exit types and maybe on some more markets. Uh, but yeah, it looks like those signals are not really valid and uh, I'm glad I tested them. It's always good to test. You know, I got some new strategy ideas out of this too as well. So definitely a worthwhile endeavor, if you will. But yeah, I hope you found value in this video of me testing TGR signals. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you trade his, his signals or you've learned some ideas from him or this was actually helpful on um, testing some automated trading systems. If you wanna get access to the software strat gen, and learn how to build good trading systems by me. See the links in the description below. Would love to work with you. And yeah, have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye.